people need to know as they head out the door on a very nice morning. It's a nice morning. That is the best part about the day today. It's just how nice this morning is. The air is drier, so it feels good, almost kind of fall like in some spots. So it's a perfect time to do anything outdoors. But as we head into the afternoon, it's only going to get worse. So do anything outside now. This is the most comfortable part of the day. Here's a beautiful live view from La Paloma looking north. Still so beautiful, so green. Love it. Uh, now, as we head into your afternoon, of course, it's going to get hot again. Low triple digits for the highs in the hottest spots and that will be the case through this upcoming Wednesday. So the next several days it is going to be hot and excessively hot for parts of southern Arizona, especially Sunday and Monday. So we do have an excessive heat warning going into effect for the end of the weekend and into early next week. Doesn't include everybody though, but some areas could push to 110, 112 degrees. So getting very toasty in some spots, but we do have the nice mornings. That's the best part about the next week are the mornings. So take advantage of them. Temp wise, we are starting off at 72 for Midtown, upper 60s for Sabino Canyon and the east side, Mix, mid 60s up at Scout Camp on Mount Lemon, 75 for Marana, 72 for Tucson Estates, and to the south end east, feeling even cooler, upper 50s for Pierce, low 60s for Duncan, 64 for Sholo, and good morning to everyone waking up with us in Marana here at 75, low 80s for our friends out towards Ajo. Temp wise this afternoon, going to be toasty. Average high is usually 97 degrees. That's where Vail will be today, but of course, that's a little bit above average for you all. Mid to upper 90s to uh, the south and east, low in hundreds here in Tucson, 103 out towards Aver Valley, Marana, and Three Points. So very hot across uh, the uh, eastern Pima County and then off to the south and east, feeling a little bit better, but again, still above average for this time of year. 88 for Bisbee, 92 for Sierra Vista, 95 for Douglas, and we could get to 100 out towards Safford, a little hotter out towards Sells and Ajo with a southeast wind today at about 5 to 10 miles per hour. So still expect a light breeze, just not as breezy as yesterday. Overnight tonight, pretty comfy though in the low 60s. Now, as we work our way towards Sunday and Monday, those two days will be the hottest days where we could push to about 104 here in Tucson, maybe 104, 105. So right now we are not included in the warning, but if we get a little hotter than that, we will be included. So just uh, stay tuned. We could eventually be included in that warning, but right now it includes central, western parts of Hema County, western Pinal County, most of Maricopa and Yuma County. And again, temps could push to about 110 to to 112 degrees. This will go into effect Sunday morning at 10 a.m. until 8 p.m. on Monday. High pressure is to blame for the warm up. It's going to stick around for the next few days, so we are staying hot in the triple digits through Wednesday. So just a reminder on how to beat the heat. Of course, always, always look before you lock. Temperatures in your car, once you turn it off, rise so fast. So please never leave kids or pets in your vehicle. Stay hydrated and limit outdoor activities, especially between uh, 10 a.m. and 8 p.m. each hour afternoon and then if you have to walk your dog during the afternoon, please keep them on grassy surfaces. The asphalt temps can be roughly 50 degrees hotter than the air temperature and their paws will burn. So protect your furry friends too. Looking ahead at the seven day forecast 102 for tomorrow here in Tucson. So if you plan on heading to the U of A football game and doing any tailgating prior, be sure to drink lots of water too. On Sunday, Monday highs, highs of about 104, 105. So getting pretty close to those records. So we could maybe tie some of those and then temps will drop by next Thursday, potentially 99. And there's some hints that we could see some showers and storms by next weekend, but we're still a ways away, so we will keep you updated as we get closer. That is a check of 